Hi, welcome to Chemboss. Today, in this video, we are going to see ionization energy concept and important points in that we are going to see. So, first, let us start with what is the definition for ionization energy or ionization enthalpy? The amount of energy required to remove an electron from outermost shell or valence shell. Here, we are going to supply the energy and remove an electron from valence shell. So, since we are supplying energy, it is endothermic because it is absorbing energy, right? It is taking in energy. So, therefore, delta H will be positive. Delta H stands for enthalpy change. So, it will be positive. So, going along the period, what happens to the ionization energy? Ionization energy increases because the electrons added to the same shell. As the electrons are added to the same shell, nuclear charge increases. Nuclear charge means the attraction between the electrons and protons. So therefore, since the nuclear charge increases, the size of the atom decreases. Once again, I'll repeat. Going along the period, electrons or added to the same shell, nuclear charge increases, therefore the size decreases. And ionization energy therefore increases because since the nuclear charge is very high, we need to supply more amount of energy to remove an electron. So therefore, going along the period, ionization energy increases. Now let's see, going down the group, what happens? So when we go down the group, the electrons added to the new shells. So, the valence shell is away from the nucleus. So, what happens to the nuclear charge? It decreases. So, when we go down the group, every time the electrons are added to the new shell. Therefore, nuclear charge decreases. So, the size of the atom increases. And since the size of the atom increases, ionization energy decreases. So, going along the period, ionization energy increases and going down the group, ionization energy decreases. So, those elements having stable configuration has higher ionization energy. See, when I say stable configuration, which means that it could be noble gas configuration or simply like the shells are completely filled or subshells are completely filled. So those elements having stable configuration will have higher ionization energy. So now I am going to take some example and I am going to explain you on this point. So I earlier told you that since the electrons are added to the same shell the nuclear charge increases, ionization energy increases. So, if we see that, if you take this nitrogen and oxygen, nitrogen atomic number is 7, oxygen atomic number is 8. So, nitrogen 7, so configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, whereas oxygen 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. So, in nitrogen, since it has 2p3, so p orbital, each in each orbital, one electron will be there. Whereas in oxygen, since it is 4, like it will have like 2, 1 and 1 as you fill the electrons. So here which is more stable? Nitrogen is more stable because it has exactly off-filled configuration. Since it has exactly off-filled configuration, it is more stable. So therefore, nitrogen has more ionization energy when compared to oxygen. Now, let us see the second example, beryllium and boron. So, if we take beryllium, its atomic number is 4. So, the electronic configuration will be 1s2, 2s2. Whereas, boron, atomic number is 5. So, its configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. So, if you see the electronic configuration, in beryllium, it is 2s2 which is completely filled. Whereas, in boron, in p orbital, we have only one electron. So, therefore, beryllium has higher stability or I can say that since it has stable configuration, beryllium has higher ionization energy when compared to 
boron so hope you guys understood all these points which i have discussed today so please do like the, share this video with your friends and stay tuned so next video we will be discussing about ionization energy in terms of je and neat questions